Fastest growing communities in Lagos State is Ikorodu, sharing borders with Ogun State. This development, however, comes with its varying challenges, topmost of which is insecurity. In the last 12 months, about 26 residents have been killed and about 14 injured by a ritual cult group known as Bado. The attack which kicked off from Okeota area in Ibeshe spread across Ibeshe communities to Itamaga, Agboa, Imota and Udogunyo areas of Ikorodu. Efforts by security agencies in Lagos to nip this ugly trend in the bud are not yielding results as residents claim that some of the suspects handed over to the police are later set free by the courts and returned to the community. A protest by residents of Odugunyo community in Ikorodu following the killing of a family of five in the area. They are requesting that the attack by the dreaded group must be stopped. We are coming after them. We are directing the security agencies to use appropriate force to get this whole area back to normal life. Knowing that the spate of attacks is creeping into bordering communities in Ogun State, the Commissioner of Police Ogun Command talks tough, saying that such killings will not be allowed in the state. Nobody can infiltrate into the shores of Ogun State and go scotch free. We have, had our, we have had our tactical de de deployment, we have our covert deployment, we have zoned tactically the entire state into, into, into various operational zones. And we have been mopping up, arresting several cost cultists, recovering their arms. Nobody can dare this state under whatever guys and go free. While some suspected members have been arrested in Nikorodu and handed over to the police, several other suspects have been lynched through mob action. Just recently, about 100 suspected members of the cult group were arrested in a joint operation carried out by men of the Lagos State Police Command, the Rapid Response Squad and other vigilante groups in Ikorodu Axis.